Okay, so you want to level up uh, your launchers, you want to get all the camos done. I'll show you. First of all, get to ground war. You don't you don't you don't you don't want to equip your primary gun. You want to equip your secondary instantly and get into a tank right there right in front of us. You want to pull it out, get into the tank. And fortunately, I'm not the one driving this sadly. So we got to go back and get this because no one grabbed it. You got to look also look out in the map as well like which ones could be in capture or not. So when you have the, the launcher you want to level up equip in your hands, all you want to do... What the fuck does this guy want? All, right. all you want to do is go to these ob objectives here and capture them. That's the majority of your XP are going to come from this. But you can also get the uh, kills as well to level your guns up. See? All you need to do is secure. Secure. So what you want to do is... Just do the exact same thing that I just did. Just secure, 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 secure. And secondly, you can also just die when you spawn in your teammates. That's very cool as well. And for game modes, I re recommend you guys to go hardpoint, either hardpoint or ground war. Depends on which which ones are easier for you. For me personally, for the Joker, it's easier to do in the uh, ground war because one thing you could do in ground war, you could go back. The, uh, to the spawn point of your uh, of your spawn you can go back and just camp there camp there beside the munition box to just snipe people with the with the uh, joker I'll, I'll show you a couple of clips on how I did it so one of the maps that actually works in ground war for for my personal experience is this map right here uh, Guiharo yes Guiharo mm, yes and the reason why is uh, you can easily go up to here, B, for example. You can go up to this building, you go inside. For for those people who don't know, you can go inside this building. And there's there's going to be two repels to go up to. You see? One, two. And there's also a munition box right here. And what you can do here is go up. Yep, very logical game. You get one-handing a joker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got it. You love to see it. Go up here. Go to the night vision by pressing shift or whatever buttons it shows on your screen when you scope in with this gun, this launcher. And you can try and uh, find people who are at, on top of roof, rooftops. See? Like this. Like this guy, for, for example. On the roof here. And they all just died to a sniper rifle by that guy just now. You can also target these small. The uh, tanks, because if there's a uh, second second driver in it, they're, they're, it's an easy kill because they're just poking out from the sky. And the, you can see this guy right there, he's gonna die soon because he's just standing there. We'll see, we'll see him die. See, yep, easy. That, that's basically what I did for the Joker. And when you need ammo, you can just also go down and refill your ammo. Like for example, right like this. But there's also a uh, cooldown when you when you claim the ammo. You see, web ammo cache is, in, is on cooldown, so you can infinitely like Delta. grab ammo constantly, you know. And you also, I also recommend you guys using munitions box. So for the class setup, I suggest you use stims or smoke grenades if you're still t trying to get kills. For example, if you're if you want to get kills with the Strella, with the RPG, with any any of these launchers, and you you can also go to one of the points in ground war or hard point you smoke the point and just move to the point and just melee people inside the point because it, that's been working for me personally second of all lethals i suggest you guys use proximity mines and drill chargers proximity mines is for when you use the joker so some so something can protect you from behind and for the, the reason to i choose drill 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 charges is for if for you to go fight against tanks because this is very useful to fight against tanks. For example, if you're trying to still level up your launchers inside the tanks and you fight another tank, you could hop quickly hop out of the tank, dr throw a dr drill charge, and they'll that will force the enemy inside their tanks to go out to come outside of their tanks or just die because of the drill charge. 
for the perks, I recommend you guys use e. I recommend you guys use bomb squad, tracker, and spotter, and also the ultimate perk is survivor, tracker. So you can see where where people are going inside the point while being smoked. So it's easy to track them down. Bomb squad, you'll you, you'll also be using riot shields, right? If you have riot shields, you'll also be using riot shields, and if you use riot shields, you're already gonna know that you're gonna get the uh, C4, Semtex, Thermite, Drill Charge, everywhere. So having Bomb Squad is really really important for this. Spotter to see where all the equipments are, and UAVs, kill streaks, counter UAVs, and everything like that. And and you can also see where tanks are with the spotter perk. And lastly, it is the the last perk is Survivor. This perk has saved me so much time and progress because it saves you saves your life from dying basically. So for example, if I get one kill from using one of my launchers and then I die for example because I need two kills without dying to get the gold camos, right? This perk saves it. Saves your progress because you're going to get down and then you can self revive if you don't get finished that is since you're going to probably be from long range so you're not going to get uh, instantly killed. And you sell, and you have a second chance to get a second kill to finish to finish the gold camo on your launchers. So and for a platinum, if you guys want, you want to know, you just need to destroy ten enemy vehicles, equipment, or vehicles. But the thing is, equipments and vehicles, uh, not vehicles actually, equ the equipments, it, it doesn't count, right? It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not counting into the uh, plat platinum uh, progress. So that's probably gonna get fixed soon because. Well, the game has only been out been out for two and a half days, I think, because it's tenth, thirtieth uh, of the October, twenty twenty two. That's the date of today uh, of my recording. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy today's video, and I hope it helps you in your in your grind. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.